Skull Act Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Neighborhood Presents, 10 Outrageous Names Moms and Dads Attempted to Offer Their Kids. There's nothing wrong with providing a child a special and intriguing name. But future moms and dads, remember, don't decide on the dazzling choice that popped into your head at 2.30 in the early morning, a half hour after delivering. Take a minute to make sure that you do not really dislike your kid and aren't about to saddle him or her with a moniker that will get them buffooned and battered for the rest of their lives. A helpful idea, if a real judge actions in and states no, you might be simply as reckless not to point out strange as the parents who attempted to check out the following travesties on their kids. 1. Preacher and Cyanide In 2016, a Welsh single mother wound up in court after social employees ended up being aware of an extremely bad option she had actually just recently made. The lady had twins, a young boy and a woman, with three older half-siblings. This mom also had a long and troubled history with drugs, mental illness, and violent relationships. It was not any of these things that prompted the social employees to haul her in front of a judge, however. It was the reality that she had named her child kid Preacher and her child girl Cyanide. Preacher is definitely an extremely odd option. But it was Cyanide that really jumped out at the judge, who forced the mother to explain why on earth she would name her daughter after one of the world's most infamous toxins. She discussed that she selected it since it sounded pretty and because it killed Hitler and Goebbels, which she thought was great. The judge ruled that this must be the most outrageous thing anyone has actually ever stated, and that the twin siblings must choose the twins' names. While Preacher was not discovered to be objectionable so much as just odd, the judge essentially revoked the female's right to name any more kids or to care for them. All five of her kids are presently in foster care. 2. Messiah In Tennessee in 2013, a couple in the middle of a divorce were arguing before a judge over whose surname their child need to have. It was the only point of contention as the pair had actually already agreed on a first and middle name. But the judge had other concepts when she heard the first name they had actually selected, Messiah. Saying that the word Messiah is not a name but a title that is held just by Jesus Christ, the judge went on to opine. Labeling this kid Messiah puts an unnecessary problem on him that as a human, he cannot fulfill. She ruled that the child's middle name was fine however that his given name be altered to Martin, the mom's surname, and that he keep the father's surname as his own. Perhaps, unfortunately, for the infant quickly referred to as Martin, this modification didn't stick. An appeals court discovered that the judge had ruled in accordance with her own faiths. As an outcome, the moms and dads who insisted they similar to the way the name sounded got to have their baby Messiah after all. 3. Nutella France has had a variety of intriguing cases along these lines of late. French courts are able to bring any freshly registered name they consider to be unsuitable in front of a judge, and they did just that in January 2015 when a couple inexplicably decided to call their infant woman Nutella. If you don't see what's funny about this, then we pity you because Nutella is a scrumptious chocolate hazelnut spread that is very popular basically all over, consisting of France. The judge pronounced that it is contrary to the kid's interest to be wearing a name that can just lead to teasing or disparaging ideas. He ruled in the lack of the moms and dads who did not participate in the hearing that the child's name be altered to Ella, which seems perfectly affordable. 4. Strawberry In a comparable French case from January 2015, which forces us to conclude that these two sets of moms and dads are certainly buddies, a couple was legally avoided from calling their child phrase, the French word for strawberry. Instead, a judge chose the similar sounding phrasing. It's a popular name from the 19th century that is thought about stylish, cultured, and not the name of a food which, incidentally, goes quite well with Nutella. Interestingly, the judge went out of his way to explain that the food reference was not his only reason for denying the name. He was especially scared that the woman would be subjected early and frequently to the popular slang phrase Ramani Ta phrase, which approximately translates to get your ass over here. 5. Prince William In a 2015 case out of France you may see a theme establishing here a judge denied a couple's option of the name Prince William for their kid. The judge stated that it would bring the kid a lifetime of mockery and purchase the parents to select another name. They humbly concurred and picked Minnie Cooper rather. The judge rejected that as well. As you may have collected, this has actually been a concern in France for some time specifically, considering that 1993. That's when a change in the law suggested that moms and dads no longer needed to select from a substantial list of government approved names. For all the unusual options that have been slapped down since, numerous uncommon names still survive. Video Game of Thrones character names appear to be simply great, and Tarzan and Mowgli have likewise been met official approval. 6. Adolf Hitler. You might keep in mind when a New Jersey couple made nationwide headlines in 2008 after they firmly insisted that a local shoprite spell out their three-year-old son's full name on his birthday cake, Adolf Hitler Camp. 
It may not surprise you to know that the Campbell household story has actually not gotten less weird in the intervening years. Shortly after the cake fiasco, the couple's other eight children, with names like Heinrich Hans and Joyce Linarian Nation, were taken away by social services. The couple separated, Mrs. Campbell was jailed for getting into a fistfight with Mr. Campbell's new girlfriend, and Mr. Campbell showed up to a custody hearing in full Nazi regalia in 2013 to request for visitation rights. Denied, he was later charged with attacking his brand new girlfriend, which now appears to be some sort of family pastime, and went on the run for months before being apprehended in Pennsylvania in 2016. In June of that year, the guy adoringly dubbed by the press as Nazi dad was sentenced to six months in jail. 7. For real. During an ultrasound, New Zealand couple Pat and Sheena Whedon were motivated when they recognized that their brand new little package of delight was for real. Maybe this revelatory moment took place while Prince was playing in the waiting space, or possibly the Whedons are just huge fans. In any occasion, they chose right that minute to call their unborn infant young boy for real. It was not a judge that prevented them however the New Zealand federal government computer registry. They were notified that, because the name consisted of a digit, their baby's name was not for real. Undaunted, the couple told journalism that they would continue to describe their child by their selected name, and would likely raise the concern in court. In the meantime, they went ahead and sent their far more standard second option, Superman. 8. And in a less recent case from 2007, a couple was rejected by government officials when they chose a name which they said reflects their unending love for their son, Pat. As in, the symbol used in email addresses. This is even stranger than it sounds due to the fact that it happened in China, which does not utilize a Western alphabet. Then again, Chinese email users tend to pronounce the symbol in English with a drawn out T sound. If you are on a crowded street or difficult of hearing, this sounds a bit like the Chinese words I ta, which equates roughly to like him. So the mom's and dad's description has a strange logic. However, the government declined to let them keep the name. 9. BRFXXCCXXMNPCCCCLLL. Returning even further, a Swedish couple attempted in 1996 to submit the monstrosity above as their young boy's given name. Noticeable Albin, they called it a pregnant, expressionistic development that we view as a creative production. The couple was before the court objecting a $682 fine for failing to sign up an ideal name prior to the kid's fifth birthday. Their offer to compromise by going the opposite path and changing the kid's name to A was likewise met with rejection, most likely after a five-minute long, plank stare. The fine was promoted. 10. Tallulah does the hula from Hawaii. Finally, another New Zealand couple in the middle of a 2008 battle for custody of their nine-year-old daughter faced the rage of the judge before the arguments which ended up being moot ever began. Which, once again, appears sensible. Any argument out of the mouth of a parent who would call their kid Tallulah does the hula from Hawaii should right away be taken as suspect. In his decision, the judge noted that the woman declined to reveal her name to pals and inquired to call her K. A letter which you may see does not appear throughout the expression Tallulah does the hula from Hawaii. The judge blasted the couple's choice and the choices of all such moms and dads who maim their children with a social special needs and handicap, needlessly. But he didn't stop there. The judge removed the girl from her parents' custody altogether and placed her into court guardianship, where she was offered a brand new name that isn't the silliest thing any person has ever heard.